Hey, this is Knife Standards. Today I'm going to be doing my full review of the Sharp by Design Mini Tempest. But first, please follow me at Knife Standards. You can follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for a lot more knife content and weekly knife reviews. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and talk about the Sharp by Design Mini Tempest. This is a front flipper front flipper you can also middle finger flick this knife with the fuller so two deployment methods this is an awesome knife the 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 run of these got delayed i think multiple times luckily i wasn't waiting i didn't i i, I missed the pre-order for these guys and i i wasn't waiting on one i know a lot of people were bummed out and they were waiting patiently for these there were a couple different delays one of them being carbon fiber uh, supplier so here let's go ahead and get the uh, let's get the the box we got inlay material marble blue carbon so I think that's from carbon plate that's the company and apparently they just ghosted Brian Nadeau so Brian is the man behind sharp by design it's the one-man show and he's designing these having these produced by Riot and he's also a custom maker. He does some crazy, crazy custom pieces. We'll talk about that in just a second. But um, apparently Carbon Plate took his money, took his 10 grand or whatever it was, and just ghosted him and never delivered the goods. So that's super, super sketchy. And um, yeah, I, I, it's like it's like unbelie unbelievable. Because I feel like for the most part, um, the knife community and makers, OEMs, you know, buyers, sellers, traders, I feel like reviewers, I feel like we're all pretty trustworthy. So for them to to screw Ryan like that is not cool at all. Luckily, um, I think this is fat, I think this is fat carbon. Fat carbon, who is a, you know, they, they make some crazy, crazy, beautiful, amazing um, carbon fiber. And I'm sure you guys have seen Carbon, uh, fat carbon inlays or scales on plenty of knives. Fat carbon came through, delivered the goods, and here we are with the Mini Tempest. With the, I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, this is the fat carbon with just a little bit of blue fat carbon inlay and a little bit more blue on the clip side. This is, this is a pretty cool knife. I mean, this is, not only is it attractive, sexy fit finish is on point fit and finish um they are on point but the action is just so crispy and snappy and you can hear that noise it's it's a little bit unusual in the knife world to hear that type of crispiness that kind of snap and the reason for that is the integral detent so you see that little Piece of metal sticking up so that I think it's actually part of the lock bar insert and that is instead of a detent ball so let's go ahead and check this out there we go lighting is all right so it's actually going past that little ridge and that functions as the detent ball which is so cool I I wonder if, I, I'm assuming Brian invented that. I'm, I'm assuming he made that up, which is crazy. And it's also really cool that Ria does such a faithful reproduction. He does a faithful, such a faithful production of Brian's um, integral detent system. Another cool thing is, um, you know, of course, this is the, well, this is the mini Tempest. So I wonder if he has, is there a regular Tempest? <laughs> If anyone knows, let me know, because this thing is definitely not mini. If there is a regular Tempest, I need to see <laughs> the size of it. But um, Brian makes some just crazy, crazy custom pieces. And I have no idea how he does it. I mean, because he, he doesn't, I haven't seen him post any um, work in progress videos or, or pictures or anything. I'm if Yeah, if he, if he does, I've missed it. I haven't seen that. And he comes out with these just 
ridiculous, ridiculous custom knives. The I think it's the ne is it the Nemesis. It's like the dagger looking one. Oh, crazy stuff. The details, the action on his customs are like, oh man, I need to save up for one. Um, and they're also really hard to get a hold of. So <laughs> if anyone has has a, has a lead on one, let me know. Definitely, and and of course they are not cheap. Very hard to get a hold of and not cheap. Um, and similarly, of course, these are production knives by Riot, but these are pretty hard to get a hold of too. Now, of course, there are a bunch floating around the secondary currently because these didn't, you know, these um, just came, they came out just a little bit ago, a few weeks ago. But uh, his knives are hard to get a hold of, and he does not do production runs very often. And they're, I mean, it's not an outrageous price tag, but there's definitely, you know, a hefty price tag that comes along with these knives. And depending on the knife and depending on the variation, I think rightfully so. And we'll talk about that uh, in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and go over a few specs that I didn't mention yet. Drop point blade shape. This came in a Bowie configuration as well. I am not a fan of the Bowie, so I went drop point. Got this cool fuller coming across that you can middle finger flick, as you guys saw. And we have a really, really beautiful hand rubbed satin finish on the blade. Blasted frame, one of my favorite uh, handle finishes. And then, of course, the fat carbon inlay. You cannot feel any difference between, you know, kind of where, where the, the carbon fiber starts and the, and the frame ends. I mean, just seamless transition. Really kind of unbelievable how good that transition is. It is a bolster lock. You have this inlay protecting the lock bar. So you're not gonna get any lock bar pressure. Lock up looks great, about 25% or so, 20%. And of course you have a little VN for Brian, uh, Brian Nadeau. Check out the backside. Now you can see up close that there is a split here. This is two piece construction, but I mean, in that light, look, I mean, it looks almost like an integral. Really, really kind of clean, clean lines, clean look. Whew. Awesome. We have a flat grind. A little swedge up top jimping that goes a little bit further down the spine than normal, which I have enjoyed. And um, you have his kind of signature um, like revolver pivot, no tooling marks on the show side and actually no body screws on the, sh on the show side either, which is pretty clean, pretty clean looking. I like that a lot. You just have one screw. I'm assuming this goes through. I have not disassembled this. I'm assuming that goes through and holds the scales together as well. And uh, and the clip. I like those little uh, relief cuts. And then, of course, the lock bar insert. And the pivot with the tooling on the clip side. Action. Super smooth. Drop and a shake. Front flip. And, of course, middle finger flick. Very, very, very crispy. Let's go ahead and do a quick size comparison. I have my, another Riot built, Riot OEM knife, the VBR. And I have the um, Quiet Carry Drift on the table for comparison. Let's go ahead and measure these guys. <clears throat> VBR coming in 3.5 on the blade, just about 8 overall. The Mini Tempest, 3.5. And just a, yes, just under eight. This is this is a big knife. And then of course the drift three and seven. So um, all of these Chinese built. This is a mystery OEM for Quiet Carry. We'll get that out of the way. And then of course these two are built by Riot. Um, the I think of the VBR as a large knife. When I think of the Mini Tempest, maybe because it's in the name Mini Tempest, I just don't think of this as a large knife, but it's definitely, it definitely is. 
fits my hand really well. We'll, we'll. we'll get into the ergos in just a second, but it is definitely in the large size category as far as I'm concerned, which is kind of, it's kind of deceptive. It's kind of surprising that it is that big of a knife. Fits my hand really well. I would say it's still EDC friendly, EDC sized, but definitely on the larger uh, end of EDC friendly. We'll go ahead and talk about, um, just do a little comparison between these two in just a second, but I'll put that aside for now. Action, ooh, you saw that dropper. Ooh, man, gotta be careful. Crispy action with the integral detent. <clears throat> and of course, a really smooth close on it too. Now, there are um, a lot of things that I love about this knife. If we look on the inside, there is no internal milling, which it doesn't really need. It is fairly light, and of course they milled out where the carbon fiber sits. They've milled out the scale so the carbon fiber can fit. Um, so I don't need the internal milling in there. Weight feels fine. It is not heavy. It's well balanced. All of these curves and ridges and chamfers, it's just so smooth. Zero sharp edges. I mean, I'm really trying to feel for something sharp. Jimping feels great. Everything is really nice and rounded out. Very comfortable, very comfortable to not only deploy, but to hold. Now, for those of you that are uh, thinking, oh no, it's knife standards, it's a front flipper. Oh man, I don't like front flippers. Um, Try this front flipper. It's really one of the best front flippers that I have handled. <clears throat> And this is right up there with probably the best front flipper that I've uh, I've handled, which is <clears throat> the CKF 520. I think that's number one on the list. And this is coming in, I think this is coming in number two. I mean, this is pretty damn good. If you don't like front flippers, try this or try the 520 and then tell me you don't like front flippers. They're, they're both really easy to use, easy to flip. <clears throat> And the detents are not so stiff where it's it chews up your thumb, you know, as you're trying to front flip it. Or if you don't want to spend five hundred dollars on a knife, you can try the uh, Petrified Fish Beluga. Also, an excellent, excellent, um, kind of deceptively good front flipper. And those are like forty, fifty dollars, something like that. So try one of those three. I feel like those are my my three favorite front flippers at the moment. Now, let's go ahead and talk ergos and how this feels, oh no, fail, how this feels in my hand. Um, ergos are really good, <clears throat> really comfortable. This little toil action is great for my finger, fits right in there, full four finger grip. All of the rounded edges that I was talking about just a second ago, feel super comfortable. I love that the jimping goes all the way up kind of along where the fuller is so you can choke up if you want to. It's very comfortable. I mean it just fits my hand really well. There's only one spot that is a little bit pinchy and unfortunately it's the clip. Now if you feel the clip there is a sharp edge and the sharp edge happens to be the tip of the clip. I don't feel that when it's in hand. What I do feel is the top of the clip, which it's not, yeah, I mean, it is. It's a little It's a little bit sharp on the top of the clip too, but um, it's almost like a pinchy, pinchy sensation, <laughs> if that makes any sense, where the screw sits in there. So kind of feeling this, this little groove and the little corner, and it doesn't feel great. So the, my, only, my only downside is you feel this little edge in hand. Everything else about the knife is so, so comfortable. So it, it is a bummer that I'm getting pinched, pinched just a little bit on, on the edge. Also, um, speaking of the clip, I feel like that is um, just another little minor downside. I'm not a huge fan of these clips. And, um, you know, Brian puts... As far as I've, I've seen, all on all of his production knives, he has this same clip. And 
it just like it felt fine in pocket it goes in pocket and out of pocket well it carried this knife carried well um but it's just not my favorite I, I don't know i feel like the knife is so good the blade the finish the fit and the finish the carbon fiber the the detent the ergos everything is so phenomenal and then you have the clip i feel like the clip just doesn't doesn't uh hold up its end of the bargain <laughs> i don't know the clip to me it's not on the same level as the rest of the knife that is what i'm trying to say so let's go ahead and talk um pricing and that i mean look at the centering <sighs> ridiculous so perfect um let's go ahead and talk about pricing just real quick this guy goes for four right around 425 and the VBR, which is also produced by Riot, this goes for like 330. I think I got this for 335, 340, something like that. So, you know, you gotta ask yourself, is this worth a hundred dollars more than this? Similarly sized, um, you have inlays. Of course, this is G10, this is carbon fiber, but I think even the carbon fiber versions of the VBR, we're talking like 330, 340, 350, right around there, that price point. We have the belt satin, taller blade here, very similarly sized. This is also titanium. Both have the bolster action going on. Is this worth $100 more than this? Mm, I don't know. I mean, they're both phenomenal knives. Of course, the VBR is less well-known. Um, the Sharp Eye designs are in super high demand they're extremely popular he only does a couple runs per year of his productions of his production knives um so i get the demand but again is this worth a hundred dollars more than this i'm not so sure so you have to decide for yourself now i paid for both of these i paid it i mean i, I paid the 425 for this and it's a phenomenal knife but um when you get i feel like 375 and up you're getting into that next tier, that next category of knives, that next price tier, and you have to ask yourself, what am I paying for exactly? You know, is it the materials? Is it the maker? Is it the OEM? And these are all questions that you have to ask yourself. You know, per it's like a personal question for yourself. What what is so amazing about this knife, or what am I enjoying so much, or is it? who made it or do i really love the oem or do i do i really want a custom sharp by design and you know i can't get a custom but i have this which is you know almost as good or i can i can get that feel that integral detent on a production knife um but you have to ask yourself what what makes it worth it to you now as a knife reviewer knife collector enthusiast all-around knife guy um you know, I'm going to go through a lot of knives and experience them all. And um, these are both exceptional examples of Riot build quality and two really excellent designs. So um, I think for me, it comes down to uh, fit, finish, the OEM, who designed it, how much I aesthetically, how much, you know, I like the knives uh, aesthetically, how they look, ergos, huge for me, uh, and um, you have to kind of filter all of that and see how it matches up with, with the price category. So, you know, I don't want to ramble on too long about the price, but definitely something to consider. I'll go ahead and get the VBR out of the way, and let's get this flipped a couple more times, and I'll just give my, uh, my, my closing closing thoughts now this is a an, an excellent knife action is great i love the fit and the finish i'm really glad that fat carbon came through for brian they did a great job and of course riyad crushed this one the detent is very snappy crispy comfortable um i forget what knife it was but recently i had a knife from riyad and it was just the detent was just a little bit too stiff and it was it just made it uncomfortable and and that is not the case with this guy very very comfortable ergos are great no i do not like the clip but it's not the end of the world overall phenomenal knife yes it is 425 
you're getting M390 steel, titanium, carbon fiber, and a very unique detent system. But you have to ask yourself, 425, is that worth, um, you know, worth the materials, worth the, 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 the is, is it, does it match up with what you're getting? Overall, really solid, excellent knife. I'm a big fan, and I can already tell that this will be in my, this will find its way into my pocket even after um, this video is posted and even after my uh, review process is over, which is even when it's uh, when my review process is over, which is which is now. I can I can tell that this will kind of sneak its way back into my pocket. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Knife Standards. I will catch you later.